I'm going to jump right in with a question. Why is this special? Why is this planet special? Steve? Well, there have been 400 planets, or 500 planets now, uh, discovered. Uh, and since the beginning of this hunt, we've tried to find planets that were about the size of the Earth, that were at the right temperature to allow water to exist in liquid form on its surface. And so it's been a long haul getting to the point where our techniques could be able to see things like this. And this is the first exoplanet that really has uh, the right conditions for water to exist in liquid form on its surface. Now, as I understand it, there were a couple of claims right in that same, same solar system that these planets could possibly support life. What about those? Yeah, this, this system has been studied uh, extensively by the Geneva group uh, using the HARPS facility, and they had already detected four planets in this system uh, over the last uh, five or so years and published a, a number of different papers on them. And two of those planets looked like they were pretty close to habitable, but it turned out one of them was on the hot side, just on the hot edge of the habitable zone, and one was on the cold edge of the habitable zone. So they're close, but uh, upon further peer review scrutiny, they didn't really hold up to, to the standard that we expected to be able to be called habitable. They're, they're very close to habitable, but not quite. This one is right between the two in the same system. So there are now six planets in this system, and one of them, this Gliese 581G, is right between the two that were on either edge. So it's bookended in either case.